a bit sunnier outside today. Very excited to get out there. Today we're doing some fabric shows and just hanging out, but we have to make a pit stop to the pharmacy first. <laughs> Little outfit of the day. I am wearing two different thrifted tops. The pink one I got on Depop and the purple one I got at Rocket Vintage in Shoreditch. And I'm wearing my Margiela knotted grommet belt, some black trousers, Air Force Ones that really need replaced, and my tool shoulder back. Some hoops. My roots are really growing in. You can tell with the overhead lighting, but it'll be okay for now. And the ring. Maybe I'm wearing your ring. It's our sample ring because it doesn't have the cutouts. Garmel. They do the chemicals for the finishing and the dyeing. And we also work with really trying to integrate technology into the process of denim production. Um, What's up you guys? Actually gonna talk to you on this vlog, but as you can tell, I'm home now. I really didn't film too much besides just some random snippets of the day, like I usually do when I vlog. 
towards the end of the London trip, I just was enjoying my time there so much and not even really thinking to film. And anytime we were like hanging out with people, I actually got to see a good bit of our friends when we were there, which was nice. Anytime we were hanging out with people, we were either like out or, you know, you just don't always feel like pulling out the camera, which is fine. I'm not really one to like vlog when other people are around besides like Avery as you guys have noticed it's just not really my style um and going off on a tangent a bit when I watch other people's videos and they like introduce their friends a lot of the time I just fast forward through those parts which is maybe like weird I don't know does anyone else do that but I really, really enjoyed my trip, and I did not want to come home at all. There's just a lot of stuff to deal with in New York right now, a lot of personal things. I don't want to complain. I'm going to go on about that in a second. Just a lot of personal things and then, like, work-related things that I'm super easy, eager, not easy, that I'm super eager to finish up. But the personal things, I just don't even want to deal with them right now. And I don't want to talk about them right now either, so, yeah. Um, I guess something I've been thinking about lately is just, like, whether I should even really talk about negative things on this channel. This is really the only channel that I ever do. Um, mainly because I feel like it's real and I hate when people act like their entire life is all good and... Because no one says, you know. But, I don't know. What's your guys' opinion on it? I don't fully know what mine is. But I feel like I shouldn't talk only about negative things. Like, for example, I have, like, a few vlogs to go up that I actually recorded before the Europe trip. But I just didn't end up putting a lot of them up because they were repetitive and I felt like I was being kind of negative in some of them. So I was just like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to upload these. Also, my progress when I was editing accidentally got deleted. So I didn't even worry about continuing on with it. And I just started fresh with the Europe vlogs. But yeah, I mean, no one wants to watch someone complain the whole time. Not really that I was even doing that. Just, yeah, I'm curious to know what your opinion is on all of that. Tonight, I have a bit of a headache. Here I go complaining. I really need to dye my hair, but I'm not really feeling like it. My hair dye just came in the mail, so I really should do it. It really doesn't even take that long to do, but I always dread dyeing my hair so much. <laughs> it's just one of those, like, monotonous tasks. What else? I still have some other vlogs to go up. This is the last one for my trip, but I've been recording some other stuff in New York since. A little random update. Today is my first day that I really started on it, even though it's not February yet. I have banned myself from ordering takeout because I, for one, I am addicted to it and I must be stopped. So I'm challenging myself to not order it at all in the month of February. Which to some people, like, that might be like, oh, that's so easy. What are you even talking about? No, I order takeout at least once a day. Like, that's not okay and I like go through phases like I would say like a year ago well, there's a bug in here I would say like a year ago I did cook a lot and I was really good at not spending too much money on food but now I am just <sighs> I'm in a terrible habit and I need to start cooking more I did not eat out once today, did not get takeout once today, I cooked all my meals, most of them were shitty, but one was good, so that's good, and I started cooking meals yesterday, not started cooking meals, but I decided yesterday that I was going to do this, and one of my meals yesterday that I made myself was good, so I have hope in myself, I need to force myself to be better at cooking and not just cook the same things over and over again. I, like, got lost in a whole of vegan recipe videos, and I went grocery shopping and whatnot, but if you guys have any recommendations for, like, recipes or just, like, things that you like to cook, I'd love to hear them below. I'm not fully vegan at all, 
but I don't eat meat and I try to stay away from excess dairy still eat eggs right now and cheese but I pretty much always have a substitute for milk and yeah I hope you guys are having a good week so far I'm trying to turn mine around not even that it's been bad I just like I said I really I was not excited to be back in New York. I'm not feeling it lately, but I think it's mainly just because of my living situation. I feel like that's the main problem. And, yeah. But I just want to travel more or go somewhere new and do something new. And not live in a cave. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, I'll let you guys go now. Hope you have a great day. And let me know what you think about, like, the sharing positive versus negative things.